Well, hey everybody, this is Brian from 4SP coming to you. We're uh, cooking a unique dinner tonight. Haven't done this before. I got this new, it's an old, but new to me, big cast iron Dutch oven. And what we're cooking here tonight is mooshank. So with the mooshank, I added up a couple jugs of beef broth, potatoes and carrots and onions. And this has been simmering here for several hours now. I think it's gonna be getting ready and we're hoping it's gonna be good. So here's a bit of a reveal. Yeah, that's looking really good. So with that moose shank, it's the meat off the lower leg and a lot of people overlook it. They think it's got the, the striations of the some of the silver skin with it, but this here just cooks right down and the meat is as tender as ever. So I got potatoes, carrots, and the meat and hopefully it'll be good. It's been a cold day, it's about minus 14 Celsius up here in Northern Alberta. We're gonna be digging into this after a day out deer hunting out here in the camp. And I think it's gonna be as good as it looks. All right, have another look. Oh, that's bubbling nicely. Oh, that meat just, each piece is coming apart. Potatoes, and carrots are ready. So some of you are wondering what it's like uh, inside a tent when it's minus 20 outside and one staying out here. Well, this gives a bit of the mess. We got some steak seasoned up. This stove is our lifeline for heat and it works well. One of the things with it is we put on a base. It gives you a little bit more height. So you don't have to bend over as far. But you got that type of heat running inside when you're out here. That's what makes it so nice. It lasts a couple hours, few hours. But when you're out here with a couple guys, somebody's got to go to the washroom at night, stoke the fire. But yeah, this is the this is the tent. It's a 14 by 16 canvas wall tent. Lots of space, and we quite enjoy staying out here. This tent is one that's been used since well, better part of over 50 years now, and it's uh, continuing to bring a lot of enjoyment for us as a shelter when we're staying out hunting, especially in the late fall. And if anybody doesn't believe me what the temperature is, let's have a look. It is about minus 15 Celsius or two degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's a nice fresh day go out here camping. But as cold as it is outside, got the fire going here now and we're gonna grill some steaks soon. And I can't wait to eat those, they're gonna be good tonight. The other night we did the moose shank in the new cast iron after they got seasoned. So it was a cast iron Dutch oven and that simmered for a better part of the day. And you know what, when you're out in the outdoors, for some of us, just the comforts of a good steak, stew, chili, all the comfort food. It just uh, it hits home really well. And this what I figured last year. That old fan, she's pretty tired. Look how fast the other one's going. We got a new one though. We're all good. And if any of you are ever wondering what we eat out here, well, these are some very nice, thick, inch and a half strip loins. And they're almost ready. This is gonna be a fantastic dinner again tonight. That's okay. Frozen butter. <laughs> some pepper. Seasoning. Just give it a little shush. That'll be good. Steaks are ready. We got a little vegetable soup here. We've <laughs> we've brought the uh, these were nice thick vegetables, but we've cooked them a little bit longer than we needed to. But that's okay. 
That'll be good. <laughs> That'll be good. Gotta eat your veggies. Yeah. She said I have to have veggies out here. It'll be good. Well, good morning all this is uh, a beautiful day the snow's finally stopped it's been snowing for about three days and cold but the sun's just gonna be cresting over the trees here this morning over the creek we'll see what the temperature is what do we have today oh, that's getting better minus 20 celsius minus two fahrenheit yeah it's gonna be a fresh day but i think the deer are gonna be moving today a bit more. There were some moving yesterday, but they seem like they really come alive after a good storm rolls through. So we'll see what the day brings and hopefully we have some luck. But until then, just check out the view. Isn't that ever nice? Got the cab set up there, tent snuggled back in the woods. Can't wait to get out there. Well, we're out here watching this trail and it, uh, the sun's coming up really nice today, but it may be minus 20 outside. But in here, I just went for a walk up the trail for a while and checked things out, put some buckyard deer lure out on a few of the fresh scrapes, but in here, I got this uh, heater going today. My buddy, he made lunch today. He got some fried chicken in front of the heater. Really nice and warm in here. And I made a sandwich and I got some soup and tea. Let's spend the day here today. It's a good spot to sit and see how the day turns out. Well, hey there, everybody. Tonight we are trying another dish. It is going to be meat pie cooked in the Dutch oven. So we'll see what it's like. Ooh, it's not too bad. Baked in there tonight. It's gonna be good. Let's see how it goes. It's hot. Hot fire. Tie into this right away here. I think it's gonna be good. It's brown nicely. It didn't do too bad a job on there. About an hour above the hot stove in the Dutch oven. So it works as wonders. Well, hey everybody, it's uh, late in the day on Wednesday. I have one buddy left and I got another buddy coming in possibly later on tonight or tomorrow. But with that, it's pretty cozy in here yet. And after being out here for six days, guy needs to have a cleanup, but hey, a guy can wear a t-shirt in here. It's warm. You feel, feel pretty good when it's minus 22 outside and the forecast is supposed to be getting warmer. So hopefully with that, I can enjoy it without having to bundle up as much as I have, but so far, so good, and it's a, it's a good time out here. So when it's minus 25 Celsius outside, you need a good stack of wood. And I'll be up a few times tonight 
loading this up. I think so. When I get up, I usually load it up. Just helps keep the chill off in here. And if I don't, well, I'll be staying in my sleeping bag, which is about a minus 20 rated bag. It's not too bad for that. Hey, everybody. It's a pretty cool morning today. It's minus 24 out here. And suffice to say, my propane is now empty this morning. So doing it the old way. Just wear warm gear. Bundle in and stay warm. Stay in the shelter, blocks the wind a little bit, and it also gives you a bit of concealment. But when the heater's going, you can actually sit in here with your gloves off. But this morning, it's pretty cool. I've seen a couple of bucks go by this morning. They went quickly across this trail out here. I'm just going to turn the camera so you can see it. Big hand in the front of the thing. So they went across that trail. One was chasing the other, went by pretty quick, and the other one was further down. I had seen it, so hopefully today will bring me an opportunity to see one sitting still out in that trail. Otherwise, it's November, still getting this thing going. It's uh, working on it. Hopefully, the outdoors will help. But hey, hope y'all stay warm and have a good one. That's the the gate right down there, south end. That's going north to the ridge. I think I'll leave this in here for Dad. He can use it uh, tomorrow. Be nice and comfy for him. Lots of space for stuff. Let's leave the pilot light on anyway. Well, hey everybody, it's uh, minus 25 out here this morning, so I decided to sit in blind and hunt from here today. It's a lot warmer in here with the heat on, and it's been uh, it's been nice so far. But one of the things I want to show you is uh, my other videos. I did a bit of a heater hack here. I made this rack for heating up sandwiches and stuff like that. I just want to show you how good these can be on here. So let's take a look. Oh, that's gonna be good. Salami and jalapeno Monterey Jack Cheddar sandwich, and that's going to be good for lunch today. Catch you later. Well, next up this afternoon, let's get a little bit of a snack a sandwich earlier. And it's mid afternoon, it's been a quiet day, but we'll see where things go. I'm going to have myself some sweet and spicy deer pepperoni homemade here out of the pack. I'm going to heat up. Ooh, it's hot. Nothing better than that. Cold day. Nice little snacks. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm up in the tree stand today. It's uh, sunny, about minus 10, and there's lots of lots of deer activity in here. Good tracks. Try to stay out here when it's minus 25. It's not more that comfortable, so hopefully today is uh, going to be a good day up here. The sun's going to be shining on me a better part of the day, so see what uh, this comes well gotta admit it was a great day today we hit a high about minus 10 clear sunny skies which was nice and just got back into camp here load up the fire brother and father's out here today and a couple buddies we're gonna sit around the fire and enjoy the evening here tonight seen a buck and a doe which is cool and just not my target buck but all in all quite enjoyed the day Just a little sneak peek here, what we got going for dinner tonight. We got some pork chops over the fire. Mushrooms are sizzling. Somebody want to do a little reveal on the spuds? Ooh, those are looking good. Dutch oven's got potatoes, carrots, onions cooking. It doesn't get much better than cooking over the fire. Got a pot of gravy on the way. And if somebody gets their act together, we might even heat a pie up here tonight. 
camp cooking all uh, brings the day together quite well out in Buck Camp. Well, good morning, everybody. It's been uh, been a week out. I've been here. I gotta say, I've been enjoying myself. Lots of good meals. Good friends and family being up here. I just seen that little buck go by behind me here. He was a real nice up and comer. Nice five by five. Let him let him grow. And I'm so over overlooking another ridge today. I had uh, some really good chances yesterday, but everything has to go right to make it happen. And I didn't want to make a shot on a deer that went in behind some bushes and have a stray. Stray bullet not hit exactly where I wanted to be, so I let it go. It was, a, it was a great buck, but with that, we'll see what the day brings. And it's supposed to be about minus five, I think, for the high. So this is going to be great. This is uh, good weather to be out in. Well, evening, everybody. This is not the home cooking channel. This is actually hunting camp. So tonight <laughs> we're going to be doing some fresh biscuits here in the Dutch oven. I think it says about 400 degrees, so I think we'll be close. We're also going to be cooking up some, uh, I got some crab cakes. I'm going to try to make those up tonight with some shredded potatoes, shredded onions, some garlic with them, and uh, got some bacon outside too. I mean, you could go to dinner without some bacon, but we'll put these in the, in the oven here for about 10 minutes. Top the wood stove. We'll see how golden brown those become. So this is the outside cooking. What I got here, I got this again, the, uh, the crab meat, potato, onion, and garlic all shredded, seasoning in there. Got some thick cut bacon from the butcher, other cast iron pans, the oil in it, ready to go. And I'm going to make the patties, potato, potato, potato patties, potato patties. And then uh, dip them in the panko crumbs into the pan and see how this turns out. I think it's pretty good. Panko. And we're from in the pan. I think they're going to turn out okay. A little bit of panko. Fresh vegetable oil. They're more of crab balls. Sure. Got the cast iron pan, good and hot. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Bacon's going. So yeah, we'll show you how these are turning out just early. Just gonna check out the uh, biscuits here, see what they look like. Ooh, those are cooking nice. Those are looking good. I think we might uh, just take a look. See here. Let's turn them over a bit. Show you other. A little bit brown on the bottom, that's okay. It's hot though still. It's still hot every time I try to grab one. Dang it. Just like that. Use my glove. Well, the bottom, bottom side's a bit campish, that's all. That's good, we'll make them work. they will go good with the everything else we got tonight. Right on. Here we go. So okay, that's good. These crab cakes are coming along pretty good, actually. Toast it up nicely. Oh yeah, that'll be good. We got one more batch to do. Crab cakes, onions, potatoes, panko crumb seasoning. Just gonna heat up some butter for the biscuits. A little bit of dipping. Home style butter. This is gonna be nice. So we got a little sneak peek. We got the crab cake, some bacon, and some biscuits. Some melted butter. Real low carb dinner tonight. <laughs> we do have veggies. We're gonna do a cream chicken tomorrow night. So we'll see how that turns out. 
Catch you later. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Brian here. I'm uh, out my last day of the hunt. It's been awesome so far. Spent a good time with good friends and family. Again, about minus minus 10, minus 14 this morning out here, and the sun's clear. Seen a number of mace bucks yesterday. Just, uh, again, it's not the target buck I'm looking for. I'm, uh, ones I've seen can grow. They're going to be around here next year. It'll be awesome. Just going to do a little walk here and uh, check out some of the trails that have been up here. It's been, it's been really good. So I'm just going to enjoy the sunshine. My feet will get a little cold. I was sitting still for a little while, but uh, there's a lot of good sun in this area. And I, hope, uh, I hope this comes together today. Catch you later. And of course, this is some of the sign you're looking for. This is a fresh rub. All done last night since I was here. It's rubbed right down. Let's see what it comes out today. Well, hey there, everybody. It's been uh, a great time being out here. Today, the sun is warming up amazingly. Land is tucked in underneath this spruce tree here, looking, looking down the bottom end of this old, it was an old pasture here many, many years ago, and it's uh, on the fringe of just some bush country, but overall, it backs off of this beaver dam to the bottom. It's a nice natural funnel or a bottleneck area if you want to call it that for, for a lot of deer to cross through. A little bit ago my brother I watched from up here I seen a doe cross way further south going in towards he's at and he's he's further west of me a ways and sure enough that doe came by him and five minutes later a buck a buck did too and didn't didn't connect with it but that being said it was a great buck to see and it's been a good time out here. You know really really great days some really good food it's not the food network this is the outdoors kind of a, the channel of mine and i quite enjoy it and it's it's my life it's what i enjoy and it's good food great friends and having a really good time and this is what it's all about especially on a on a november afternoon when it, i think it's almost zero or, or above zero right now and even a little bit of snow is dripping off the spruce tree up above me like raindrops it's, it's not, it feels awesome just soaking it all in so hope you're enjoying this so far and we'll see what the afternoon brings. Hey everybody, I got a little chicken dinner here going tonight in the Dutch oven. We're gonna do a cream chicken. Just got them all pieced up and hit it with some, uh, some seasoning. Maybe a little bit of chicken bouillon oxo in there for some flavor. Some salt and pepper. And then later on, we're gonna add, uh, we got cream, and we also have some uh, peas and carrots. Heck, we might even throw the potatoes in there too. And if you're wondering about this silly thing in the last few days here of me videoing, it is November, trying to raise a little bit of awareness for men's health. So with that, you know a guy you gotta talk to, chat with him, connect, do what you gotta do, but uh, it's always something to think about supporting each other. And what better way to do it is over good food, right? Chicken dinner, winner, winner chicken here oh goodness look at that look at this concoction of you got chicken and potatoes and carrots this is dutch oven mushroom soup cream chicken right here look at that gem the potatoes are starting to soften up nice the chicken's almost off the bone over the fire this is going to hearty meal. I think I'm going to package some of this up and take it home to the family after we go home tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know if any of you guys have had cream chicken before. But this is what cream chicken's all about right here. You got uh, peas and carrots and all the goodness. The chicken's just going to come off the bone, cooked over the fire in the old cast iron Dutch oven. Don't mind the chatter in the background, but it's uh, just the old guy talking to us. This is going to be tasty. That is what coming out here is all about. That is cream chicken at its best there, folks. It's cooked down nicely. Your brother here giving it a stir while I'm on supervision now. Look at that, the old Dutch oven. Whew. It's 
It's a hot fire. Garlic hours. bread is ready. Oh, it's going to be good. And for those of you who haven't tried this little secret, you may notice a unique object in that fire pit. That there is a railroad tie plate. And why? Well, when you're sitting around the fire and your back is cool, you've got one of these behind you. It is just another fire and another heater behind you. We put it down here in gravel and camp. And your back never gets cold. Just like that. You can sit by the fire, your front is warm, the heat in the back, it's lovely. We got my old dad here getting some cream chicken. What do you think, it's gonna be edible? I would think so, looks mighty fine. Potatoes, carrots, onions. No onions actually, didn't do onions tonight. This is, uh, this is a hunter's medley right here. I got plenty.